Hey, if you're looking to create some high quality leashes for your kayak on the cheap, you're in the right place. Let's do this. You know, you could purchase leashes online and to be honest with you, they're not that expensive. But what I don't like about them is the length. They're not that long. And once they get stretched out, they do this garbage, which I am not a fan of. So with a trip to the thrift store and a few other supplies, you can actually make some high quality leashes for your kayak paddle, for your pliers, for your clippers, or whatever else you don't want falling to the bottom of the lake when it falls out of your boat, kayak, or canoe. All right, we need some supplies, and what you need to do is just head over to the thrift store and find some old pigtail phone chargers. And man, I am talking old school. Check that out. I don't even know if these are fun. I have vague memories of using these when I was younger. Uh, you're also gonna need some zip ties. Eight inch will do just fine. Uh, Hyper Tough, 3M, it really doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, you can just find heat shrink tubing, an assortment of that would be great. For this particular job and for a lot of this type of size wire, you're gonna need some 5 uh, heat shrink tubes, uh, just like this one right here. And last but not least, you're gonna need some six centimeter carabiners. If you don't happen to have all these supplies, I'll throw the links in the description below. All right, we got some tools here as well that I assume that you're going to have, being that you're searching for DIY videos. You're gonna need some needle nose pliers, another pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, carpenter's knife with a really sharp blade. I'd put a new one on if I were you. And the old heat gun, one of my favorite things for DIY mods. All right, man, this, <laughs> this is so simple. All you do is take a pair of scissors and then you make a cut on both ends. All right, now what we're gonna do is put your 5 16th, at least that's what I'm using here. It works well. And then bend your loop on your wire. Now here is a good time. If you want to put a pair of pliers, just a pair of scissors, um, if you wanna make it look cleaner, if you don't wanna put a carabiner on here, you want to go straight to the tool that you're going to be using, I add that now. The beauty about the zip tie and why I said to bring two pairs of pliers is you'll want to tighten this up as tight as you possibly can. So it's nice to get a pair of pliers right there and another pair of pliers on the zip tie and then you pull. And then once you got it, pull as tight as you can. You hear a couple clicks and the idea is so much pressure it just kind of starts to flare out a bit. That's when you know it's super tight. All right, next step is kind of important. So you're gonna wanna snip this off. It'd be really tempting just to go snip and done. But what you're gonna try to do is try to cut it as close as you possibly can to this, uh, to the edge here. If not, it will scratch you and it's super annoying. Pressure cut those. I find it really easy to do on the edge of the table. Try to get as close as you can. Look at that. Look at that, perfect. All right, next step before you heat shrink this thing is you'll probably want to put the carabiner on and give it a nice hard tug to make sure that doesn't slip out there to make sure you actually have the zip tie tight enough. So this is not, not going anywhere. All right, make sure that you test the strength on both sides and then break out the heat gun. All right, this is how you make it super clean. Take the shrink wrap tube and of course place it over the wires and apply some heat. I'll go ahead and start doing that now. Super clean. Once that done, get a second to cool. Go ahead and, while this is cooling, work on the other side. All right, once you heat this up, you're gonna let them cool down a little bit so they'll harden. Oh, so far, looking really good. All right, last step is to add the carabiners. Boom. Boom. And now you can show off to your friends and show them how you turn this old phone charger into a high quality DIY leash for your kayak. Hey guys, if you found value, please hit the like button. And if you want more DIY videos like this, hit that sub and bell and I'll keep them coming. All right, see you, bye.